Right now your paper is on the back, so you have a blank brand new problem solving mat. You are allowed to whisper with a partner today if you want them to help you solve it. Are you ready? Okay, there you go. There you go. And if you could turn your eyes up here on the board, this is your new problem. Read it out loud with me, and once again, try to match my voice. Are you ready? Yes. All right. Mrs. Becker has four boxes of reporters. There were nine reporters in each box. Mrs. Becker gave an equal number of reporters to each of the six classes. How many reporters did each class receive? Set my timer for seven minutes. Multiplication. in each box. What was the next step in the problem? Okay, so you put them all together. And then what did Mrs. Becker do next? She um, gave them to six classes. Okay, so what's your next step going to be with all these recorders that you just added up? You're going to divide them. Oh, so you why do you think divide? Because there's six classes, and if you divide them, it will come out equally. Okay. So, we could do division right here. Hold on. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. And then... Are we talking? When I saw everyone was going on, it's just so quiet. Can you hear it? We're done. It's like super oh, quiet. Oh, yes. Okay, okay pencils down. And Why are they finished? I know. I want you to do something for me. I want you to show me with your fingers how many boxes did you get finished today? Show me with your fingers. How many boxes did you get finished? Okay, four, good, five, six, three. Okay, so today you can put your hands down. That seven minutes goes by pretty quickly, doesn't it? Yeah. All right, so if you finished, I'll wait for you guys. If you finish maybe only three or four today, set yourself a goal right now. And say, tomorrow I'm going to get five. Or tomorrow I'm going to do six. Well, don't come to school on Saturday, but you know what I mean, on Monday. Okay, so as I was walking around looking at your papers, I was putting some orange stars in some of your boxes, and that means right now I'd like you to come up and present what you have with the class. So before you get up, if you have an orange star in the first box analyzed, you may come up to the front. In the first box, just the first one. Bring your paper And if you did not get a star today, that means you get to go next time. Okay? Everybody's going to get a chance. All right. 
Ryan, will you please show us your analyzed box and tell us what did you write in that first box? Now, as he's reading, we're going to check to see if we have something similar on our paper. And we're all ready for Brian. Okay, go ahead. Um, I wrote four boxes, nine in each box, six classes, how many recorders? That's great. Okay, did he include all the important information? Yes. Yeah. Did he include the question? Yes. Yeah. That's the two things we're looking for. Round of applause for Brian. Thank you. Thank you. Right. you have if you have an orange star for plan, come on down. I saw lots of different plans today. Okay, will you tell the class what your plan was? She had a lot of steps in her plan. Did anyone also do multiplication and division for their plan? Okay, did anyone do something different? Is that okay? Yes. yes. All right, so what was your plan, Cherise? Okay. Okay, so you were kind of similar with Kaya's, that you were multiplying in step one, divide in step two. Okay, round of applause for these ladies. Okay, uh, if you have an orange star for represent, come on out. Saw lots of different representations today. Lots of good drawings and diagrams. All right, is it Giselle? Okay, tell us what you drew to represent. Um, what I did was I drew four boxes representing the four boxes, the four boxes of quarters, and then I did six circles representing the six class, and then I crossed out the circles in the boxes in the um, circle, in the circle for the classes, and I got um, <laughs> <laughs> so that was Very good. Okay, did anyone else draw four boxes first? And then later you divided them into smaller groups? Okay, did anyone do something different, like a number line or a strip diagram? Is that okay if you did something different? Yeah. All right, thank you, Giselle. We got it one star for Saul. All right, let's start with Ellie. How did you solve this problem? Tell us what you wrote. So first, we, did, we put 9 plus 9 plus 9 plus 9, plus nine and that equals 36. So they did repeated addition. Okay, and then? And then we did we put six um, circles representing the six classes. And then we took 36 and divided it into our six circles and it gave us you can tell six in each okay. all right so she used repeated addition and then division did anybody do the same thing added nine plus nine plus nine oh, yeah. all right could you multiply yes what would be your multiplication and when nine times four nine times four would that give you the same answer yes, two yes. different ways okay all right connor tell us what you did here because you did something different i I count by four, and then, and then it gave me the answer. Okay, so how many times did you count by four? Um, I count by four times. So is that kind of the same as the nine times four? And, and then nine times four. Okay, all right. So we could also do skip counting. So we've got repeated addition, multiplication, skip counting. Okay, so even though we had all different ways to solve it, we were still getting to that same solution. But what was the same between all of these different ways? Did y'all notice anything that was the same, Taylor? Yeah, they all did a little bit of multiplication. Anything else that was all the same? What are you going to say? Yeah. They all came to the same solution. Did they all use similar numbers? Yes. yes. Okay. All right. Round of applause for the solvers. And how about solution sentence? All right, go ahead. What's your solution today? Each class got six quarters. Each class got six quarters. Is that a pretty good solution sentence? Yeah. Thank you both of you for sharing. All right, did anybody get an orange star for justify? What did you do for justify? For justify, I did a strip diagram. Okay. So I had 36 at the top, uh -huh. and then I had six, six boxes. All right, so show the class 
how you divided that 36 into six different little boxes. I really like that. Okay? Did you come up with the same answer when you solved it a different way? Nice. All right, another round of applause for you.